Soon, you may not have to deal with these annoying blood pressure cuffs anymore. Researchers at the University of Toronto found a way to detect blood pressure just using your smartphone camera. So cuffless blood pressure monitoring has been around for years, from devices that attach to your fingers, to other technology, even using calculations to determine your blood pressure. In August of 2019, the FDA actually approved a company, BioBeat, for its chest patch technology and its smartwatch technology that allows users to measure blood pressure and other vitals, send that information to their phone, and then send that information to the healthcare providers. In October 2019, the Journal of the American Medical Association published an article in another journal, Circulations Cardiovascular Imaging, where researchers at the University of Toronto, Dr. Kang Lee and others, studied a population of about 1,300 subjects, divided them into a trial and a test population, and were able to measure blood pressure using smartphone video cameras and machine learning. They did this by measuring the light reflecting off of the hemoglobin in the red blood cells of the blood vessels of the subjects' faces. And they were able to measure blood pressure with 95% accuracy, which is mind-blowing that they were able to do so with just a smartphone video camera and the app that they developed. But before you go throwing away your blood pressure cuffs, there are a few caveats. The study was done in normal tensive patients, so a lot more research needs to be done in patients who are hypotensive or more commonly hypertensive since the technology may detect blood pressure differently in these populations. Also, more research needs to be done in people of different ethnicities due to different facial structures, different amounts of melanin, and things like that. More research also needs to be done in patients with different pathologies, so people with liver disease may have jaundice or uh, other conditions as well might affect the accuracy of the technology as well. More work also needs to be done on the provider side. There's going to be a lot of variability in provider use in terms of the angle of the camera that they're using, the amount of light that's in the area, the shakiness of the hands of the providers, and other provider-related variability since the study had I believe an optimal viewing angle with a tripod set up, optimal lighting conditions and things like that. So with all of this, while there's a lot of research that still needs to be done, the technology is very promising and in a few years we may be able to use technology like our smartphone cameras and different apps to detect blood pressure and even other things with non-invasive or minimally invasive technology. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like these short news slash science tech videos or research paper type videos and I'll make more of them for you guys. Let me also know what else you'd like to see or any comments, questions, suggestions. Feel free to leave anything down below in the comment section. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That really helped me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.